Hi everyone, welcome back to Take 5 Behind the Scenes of a High School Stage Manager. I'm Ava and today is super exciting because I'm going to be sharing what I do during a show. So this is going to include me calling the show, me enjoying intermission, and then also me during vows. Um, this is during our fall play, which was Pride and Prejudice. Um, and without further ado, let's get on with the video. Thank you, sir. And that's agreeable, man. Oh, it's really fun. You know, all expect good fortune. Go. Oh, lady, go. Amazement! Look at them burying me, and in a short time as Mr. Collins' long speeches will allow, all the subjects of between him and Charlotte will be spoken of as domestic arrangement. And Lizzie feels she accepted him solely from Girl. the pure and disinterested desire for an establishment. And as Mama said, Girl. kept not how that establishment was gained. Charlotte's marriage is unaccountable in every view, unaccountable. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to pause here, and I'm going to explain what you guys just saw. So uh, basically, for when I call cues, I have a different letter that goes with each um, person I'm calling. So like if I'm calling a light cue, that would be L. Um, if I'm calling a sound cue, um, which is basically like door knocking sounds or you know, sound effect cues, um, that's going to be S. If I'm calling a um, music cue, that's going to be M. And then if I'm calling run crew, um, that will be R. And anything else, I usually just use the actual word of the person. Like if I'm asking costumes a question on telex, um, which is what you saw me wearing, um, that would just be like costumes question, can you do this or can you fix this? Um, so that's basically how I differentiate those. Um, and how I call them, as you saw in the video, is I always start with standby. So if I'm calling like L245, for instance, um, I would do standby L245. And then once I am getting closer to that actual light cue, I go L245 and I elongate the 245, go. So until the specific time when they want to go. Um, and this is different for every person who calls a show. I call it like this because um, I like this way of doing it. And also everyone who I work with knows that I do it this way and they're good. Like we know how to work together and like it goes on perfect timing um, and we know how to work it out. Um, but for everyone, obviously this is different how they call a show. Okay, so now this is going to move on to intermission, and basically what you're going to see is a clip of me doing an inter intermission speech. Um, so in the playbill, um, we kind of forgot to say how long intermission was, so before, you know, intermission started or like right after I called curtains close, I will run over to sound and they will give me the god mic, which we call it, which is basically just the mic that everyone can hear me on. Um, and I will make a quick announcement on how long intermission is so they know when to be back. Because for me, I am very strict on timing and I like everything to start um, as quickly as possible. And since the show was very long, um, we obviously needed to like speed up the process as much as we possibly could. So it's just like a timing thing for me. And so everyone knows and we're on the same page about when the show is going to start again. So that's going to be the clip we're going to see. And last but not least, we're going to go into vows. I love vows so much and I wanted to include this video because it's all of the production team, the people who I, who I work with, um, all bowing together. And it's such a special moment for all of us. So I really wanted to include that in the video. At the end of the video, you'll see me pull down my telex and I'll tell curtains to go and also call blackout. Um, and then that's how I end the show.
today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you got some more insights of what I do during the show and also how I call a show. Um, I know this was a lot of information being thrown at you, but if you enjoyed it, please subscribe and like down below.